If you open Ocarina of Time Randomizer and go to the detailed logic, you can add tricks to the logic. Anything in logic might be required to progress, and anything not added will not be necessary. And if you filter for... Deku Tree. These are what pop up. But how do we do these tricks? Well, I'm glad I asked. Our first trick is to get the gold scotola in the basement on the vines with the jump slash. Self-explanatory, I know. Simply jump off the ledge and jump slash. It's all just a bit of timing, and it's easy to feel like you have to jump slash earlier than you really should. It's easier with Deku Stick, but it's possible with Kokiri Sword. Deku Tree Basement without Slingshot is just skipping the trip around the basement. If you can enter Deku Tree as adult, you can simply climb this section of the wall here. Using the forward jump glitch as a child will also achieve this. Some races will allow this glitch and some races won't. If you're entering a race, make sure you know. If you have nothing but a shield, you can still do a precise jump, and here's how to get into position. Take note that if you're near a wall facing mostly towards it but not exactly perpendicular, you can press target to target the wall which will change your angle to be perpendicular. We're going to use target to align ourselves with this wall just to the left of this seam. Then scuttle right until you're at the right of the seam. Keep your stick neutral and press A. This is called dry rolling. Do this until Link is rolling without going anywhere. Backflip twice, side hop to the right, and then side hop to the left. Turn 90 degrees to the right. I want to note now that a dry roll will change if you backflip or side hop beforehand. We're going to take advantage of this. Backflip, dry roll. Really cool, right? Now turn 180 degrees. Backflip and dry roll again. Let go of target during the dry roll. Now we're in the right spot with the right angle. Target again and dry roll once. Now we have to press up and A at the same time to get just the right jump. If you find this difficult, you can pause, hold up, unpause, and mash A while the game is unpausing. I find it helpful to hold up and slightly to the right after Link jumps. This trick will probably take the most time to master, so don't get discouraged. Deku Tree Basement Web to Goma with Bow is a bit precise, but we're going to limit the trial and error. Make sure this switch is pressed so that the torch is lit. Target the pillar to the left of the torch. Nuzzle into the seam to the right. Turn 90 degrees left and backflip. You'll be on the chest. Now you can aim at the right side of the circular web and burn away. If you got the Master Quest version of Deku Tree and have Hammer, you can rid yourselves of these boulders in the compass room. Climb up till you can't anymore. Press A, then mash the hammer button. The other master quest trick is rolling under the spike log. It's easier as child, but still possible as adult. I position myself at the back edge of the moving platform, and wait till the spike log is above the halfway point of the moving platform. Then roll forward at full speed. As adult, you'll need to hold back once you're clear of the spike log, otherwise you'll roll right off the edge of the other side and have to do it all over again. That's all for Deku Tree Tricks. Next time we'll go through Dodongo's Cavern. If that video was already live, there will be a link on screen and in the description.